everyone, I'm Tony Gale and today I have a word from the Lord. I'm just going to get straight into it because um, it's an urgent message. So the Lord has been letting me know that, you know, His wrath is upon us. His wrath is upon us. Oh, help me, help me Holy Spirit. His wrath is upon us. Okay. And, you know, let me just explain it. You know, this isn't a message that many people would like. You know, we want to hear the good stuff. Like, you're going to get this increase. Da, 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 da. But, no, you know, the Lord said to me, showed me this morning, be strong and do it. You know, be strong and do it. Because, you know, this, this kind of message isn't a message that I even like to put out. Because, you know, people can be. But, you know, I don't care about people. Like, the Lord is... The Almighty God and if he has given me a message I I just have to put it out you know I wasn't called to do messages that I like you know it's just strictly about God and so the Lord has let me know that his wrath is upon us you know and when the Lord's wrath is upon us what happens is that you know he judges us us all at once you know so even though you know, you guys have enemies, people that have been fighting you for years or months or whatever the case is. The Lord is still going to judge you with them. And, you know, this is something that he explained, you know, a month back to me that, you know, when he, you know, judges us, judges us, it's always just us all. He judges each and every one of us at once. So when his wrath is upon your enemy, his wrath is going to be upon you as well because we are not perfect none of us we are not perfect and so yes many of you you've been waiting for that you know right to be upon your enemy but enemies but you should not you know gloat the bible says that we should not you know gloat when your neighbor becomes a stranger and that is why many of you you know you want to see you know the results you know you want to see that person be sick who has been you know fighting you thank you Elizabeth, who has been fighting you for years you want to see that result but the lord will not let you see that result even if it is happening because you know he does not want us to gloat he does not want our hearts to change those who are for him he does not want our hearts to change so if you're someone who's been praying you know i want to see you know that person the same thing that they did to me happened to me you know happened to them you know you're not going to see it if your heart if you're still if you're saying things like that you're not going to see it even if they're sick the lord will let you see them at a time where they don't look sick that is all it is because he does not want us to gloat or be happy about you know his wrath being upon his children because you have to understand that the lord is love and he loves each and every one of us yes when he does these things he does it because it has to be done but not because he enjoys you know making us right be upon his children because he love, loves each and every one of us you know he loves us more than we can even if we can possibly imagine you know and so you know i just want to say you know he judges us all at once even though your enemies are being judged you are also being judged so maybe perhaps during this time you're feeling like oh everything is you know not going well it's hard and etc etc the lord is saying that you need to repent if there's someone that you have mistreated you need to repent of that if there's people that you have gossiped about who you know did not deserve that you need to repent whatever the lord is saying that you should do you need to do it like if someone if you mistreated someone and the lord said you need to apologize go and apologize if you cannot do it if it's a complete stranger that you have you know done harm to witchcraft stuff like that i'm being very real because you know i just want to get this message out i don't want there to be any you know misunderstanding if there's someone that you have done witchcraft on black magic etc you need to you know apologize to them you need to apologize do what the lord has said that you should do if it's a complete stranger and you've decided to harm this person i'm not going to judge but if you have decided to harm this person then you know whatever the case is you need to tell it to the lord let him know that let, let him know you know i'm repenting of this but perhaps i can't go to that person because you know it's a complete stranger and i'm you know mortified if i were to go you know to them and apologize but whatever the case is you need to take it to the lord don't feel like when you have done evil then that, that it just goes by just like that no no it doesn't go goes by just like that you need to do something and the lord has you know shown me that he should
show you know my enemies people that some people that I don't even know you know to they've sh he's shown you know for example he showed this woman to me in this vision he was saying to her you know she's one of mine you know and she was like no I don't want to believe that I don't want to believe that you know I don't want to be wrong I want to be right that was what she was saying and you know I never got an apology so you know if you're that person you never apologize to the person pride is baiting you down you you are very prideful you need to at least go to the lord on your knees asking him for forgiveness you can't just go on just like that and many times we're just like i don't care but the lord is very humble very, very humble and so when things happen to us it will seem like it was just life when it was really the lord's wrath that is upon you you know you know it says you know in the bible that when elisha had run away from jezebel you know the lord sent him you know on the edge of the mountain i'm not sure and like you know the lord there was a great earthquake and there was a great many things was happening and you know the lord was is but the bible says that the lord was not in them so definitely the lord can you know cause your whole world to be destroyed just like that and it's just so obvious but no he's going to do it very silently to make you think if you don't know god if you don't know the lord of hosts you will think that is just life but you won't get any better that's the thing you won't get any better you will think that it's just life you know and depending on life to get better and it just won't you need to repent if you are if you are that person that keeps you know bringing down someone behind their back and this person does not deserve it you need to repent you need you need to repent like it's no shock you know last night i saw you know the lord with a whip and he you know there was some sheep and like he was whipping the sheep like very fiercely he was whipping the sheep very very fiercely and so i knew you know he has been talking to me about wrath you know he prepared me for this moment to speak about it like he has been talking to me a lot about wrath and i was like you know lord i know that you're talking about wrath but what do i do with this information am i going to go to the wrath uh yes you know we all need to repent you know if there's anything that i have done i repent to the lord and say you know lord even in this very moment lord if there's anything that i have done forgive me sweet jesus if there's anything that i had done or said you know to hurt anyone or to you know that isn't right in your sight i ask father lord god to forgive me that is what you do put your pride aside i see Pride, I see lost, I see all of these things. And last night he gave me another vision. Let me get my book. You know, before the vision, he said to me, Sometimes we forget to add our 50 points, and then it becomes a real target. That is what he said first. And then he showed me a vision of this woman, you know, this woman who started to look at this older man. So it's like by the leading of the Holy Spirit, the Lord has shown me, you know, what it means is that sometimes you're looking for what you already have. You know, many of us, the Lord has revealed to us what is already ours, but we just feel like I can't make that. You know, I can't do what the Lord has called me to do. You'll be, you will be receiving His wrath as well, and you need to speak to the Lord. And this message is for all of us, you know. But you know, for those who have been specifically talking to the lord and he has shown you things he has shown you the, your kingdom husband your kingdom wife and like if you're that person who has you know wronged them and like you need to do certain things you need to get on that because the thing is you know when the lord's wrath is upon you you can search but what you're going to find it might look good looking it might look awesome but it's not it's going to be horrible it's going to be horrible, you know. Even with me, the devil has tempted me so many times with so many things. I wouldn't even call it tempt because I know that it's, you know, attempt. It's an attempt to tempt me. You know, I've seen people that I haven't seen in years. They don't show up and I'm just like... I don't give in to those stuff, you know. Because I was even talking to the Lord some days ago. I was like, you know, Lord, Lord, like it's so easy for... You know your people to go astray because it's just like you see this person as person you know perhaps doesn't look horrible perhaps doesn't act horrible and like you're single 
so it's like if you don't have God you will go and be with that person but if you know God you know that that relationship has failed before it has even happened because you know that the Lord spoke to you and you know that the Lord has said this isn't the one so like if you have been talking to the Lord and the Lord has shown you things the career path that you're supposed to take etc etc and he doesn't approve of what you're doing now or what you want to do you have to repent you have to go to the Lord ask him what to do wait upon the Lord yes don't you know be one of those people who are prideful prideful pride can really ruin you you know pride can really ruin you Pride is so deadly, and these are things that I talk to the Lord about. Pride is so deadly. Put your pride aside and go on your knees. Go on your knees. There are people that I've seen. Help me, Lord. There are people that I've seen, you know. Some days ago, the Lord give, gave me a vision. Not days, like a month. I'm not sure. Gave me a vision of this girl, right? And she was in her bed. And, like, I was just like, oh, her bed is looks so nice. <laughs> I'm like that I don't know why I'm like that and that is why you know the Lord values our hearts and that is why he has people that he has called specifically if the Lord has called you during that time that he called you your heart must have been pure your mo your heart must have been pure I never it doesn't matter who it is my enemies I'm never just like oh that person should die or you know and sometimes you know I'm not gonna say sometimes you feel horrible and you might slip up but I always repent and say Lord you know leave it all into your hands I'm not looking looking or waiting for people to fall you know they will fall they will trust me they will fall if you leave it to God they will fall so it's like this person was in her bed and she I was like you know the bed looks nice and then the Lord said to me the Lord said to me the bed looks nice she can't sleep at night that is what the Lord said and I know that this is one of my enemies people that I don't know people that, whose names I don't even know they're just like so you know when you pray it does return if the, if the Lord sees that your heart is pure and that your prayer is you know truthful and that uh, you know he, re he rewards you according to the work of your hands so like we mustn't the lord does not want our hearts to change we must wait wait around for people to fall it doesn't matter if it's your enemy just leave it to god the lord does not want our hearts to change and for us to gloat and be like yes this person failed look at what she did to me like you know <laughs> No, I mean, sometimes honestly, understand, sometimes it's hurtful, you haven't done anything to this person, they're just out to get you, you know, if you're that person who has, you know, tried to harm someone, woman, man, you better repent, repent, that is my advice, repent, we all need to repent, like I said, even those who are, you know, his sheep, the Bible says, you know, if you knew the right thing and you didn't do it, then you will be beaten with many stripes, if you didn't know, then you will be beaten with fuel so like us as the sheep if we have done things that we know isn't right we need to repent that's pretty much it we need to repent many of us we're living a lifestyle that we know the lord does not approve of we need to ask the lord for mercy tell him about the situation ask him for mercy this is the time this is the time you know of his wrath and so yes that is my message for today continue to stay Blessed.